Welcome to a tutorial from Equator.com. Hello. In this tutorial, we're going to use Casio FX991MS to work with the matrix. This cal calculator, even though it has been for a long time on, on the market, but it's one of the best calculators that was available before Casio introduced uh, this uh, newer version of this one. The only difference between these two calculators are that this can do a fraction. You can see actual math type something over something like 5 over 3. Oh, I'm in matrix mode. So 5 over 3. But here you cannot do that. You have to see it that way. We press mode and then until three, two times, that's three times until we see MAT, which is the first matrix. So now we, we see MAT on the screen. Now we are in matrix mode. In order to work with matrix, uh, we have to store it first and then do some operation on this. So let's assume that we have matrix A and matrix B and you want to add it. What you can do in this calculator is you can add, multiply and subtract. And you can find the determinant inverse and some basic uh, other operations which are very valuable for a student uh, it, saves, it saves time during the exam to check your answer or something so let's enter this value for working with matrix we press shift and then mat which is button number four press shift and then matrix now here what we do is we go in edit mode or we go with the dimension mode let's go for the dimension one. Now it says which matrix you want to work with. So we are going to store this in matrix A and this one into matrix A. I press matrix B and I press 1, meaning I'm working. Now it says the dimension M by N, row by column. So M, now it is asking, so 2, N, 2. These values are now matrix A. 1, 1 is this one as as in linear algebra exactly one 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 two two one two two so a one one so it's three and then equal a one two is two and then equal sign as you can see you can go to the left and up so two one which is this one one and then two two which is four i've entered the matrix and press AC and exit from the screen. This has been entered into the memory. Let's just, for sake of argument, just recall it and see if you can recall the value. Shift, number four, matrix, and MAT. This arrow shows we have more options, which we come to, that, to those later. MAT, number three. It says which matrix you want. So matrix A, B, and C, and answer is the result of operation of your last operation. So I want matrix A, press, and then equal sign. As you can see, matrix 1, 1 is the spread, the value for matrix A, and this is A11 as A12. This is, when I go up and down, I go from row to row. But if I go to the right, I get the values for the same row. The, up and down for the same column so i'm exiting now let's enter matrix b into the memory so shift math and then one the dimension i'm going to matrix two so first you go to the dimension and then you go where you want to store it and then it's asking again the dimension of this matrix so two by two i press two and then equal and then two equal so now b11 so b11 b12 B21, B22. So minus 5, and then equal 6, equal 0, equal 9, equal. So now it has been stored. Now let's add these mat matrices A plus B. So press shift, mat number 3, which is matrix. So which matrix you want? Matrix A, which is 1 plus matrix B, again shift, math, and then number three, which is matrix, matrix B, which is two, so matrix A plus matrix B, equal sign. Now, this is our answer. This is the answer, one, one, the first one, 
the first uh, column and first row. So here the answer we got is minus 2. Go to the right, 1, 2, which is 8. Okay, so come down, which is 1, and then go to the right, 13. That is the result of the math matrix addition. Let's enter a bigger matrix. Let's say you want to enter this matrix. You are going to enter it into matrix C and do the terminal. Okay, to enter that one, shift number four, I press one to select the dimension. So C, for matrix C, I press three. Now it's asking me for the dimension. So because this is three by three, I press three and then equal sign and three equal sign. Now C11, C12, C13, and then same way. Say 21, 22, 23, and then for the row, 31, 32, 33. So let's enter it, five, and then equal sign, three, equal sign, one, equal sign, and then for row two, this two refers to row two, and then one is column. So column one, and then row two, column two, which is six, and then four, and then row three, nine, minus one, and then two. All the values have been entered. Now to find the determinant of this matrix, shift math. As you can see these values, I, this arrow shows that we have more options. So see here, determinant, DET1. That is referring to the determinant, determinant of what? So with, which we call the matrix C. So shift, math, I press three, which is matrix, and then C, number three. So determinant of matrix C equals sign. That is one, three, four. That's the determinant of a matrix. Another feature that you can use with this calculator is transpose. Even though the transpose looks very easy, that you can do it, change row to column and column to row, but sometimes during the calculation, let's say you want to add transpose of matrix A to matrix B, or do something, add, multiply, or subtract, uh, with one another matrix a transpose of one matrix with another one so to do that let's say you want to do the transpose of matrix a with b so let's say shift matrix so trn transpose number two okay i open a parenthesis here so put matrix a shift matrix and then three matrix and then a one close it transpose of matrix A plus matrix B. So now I'm going to recall matrix B. Shift, mat, number three, matrix, and then two, matrix B. Now equal sign, that is the answer. Meaning that we have, so the answer will be two by two. So that is one, one, row one, column one, minus two, scroll to the right, that is seven, down, that's two, two, but let me two, one, that is two, and then 13. So, as you can see, this calculator makes your life easy, even though it doesn't have actual format of a matrix, but if you understand this, it will be very useful, and it's a very, very nice calculator. Thank you for your attention.